Hello and welcome to another session on triangles and you know in this series of videos we are trying to prove various theorems related to triangles and yes other geometrical shapes like quadrilateral trapezium as well so this is again related to a trapezium so any line parallel to the parallel sides of a trapezium divides the non parallel sides proportionally okay so first of all let's draw the figure so let's construct this diagram so i've drawn a trapezium okay any line now let's first name the trapezium so a b c d is our trapezium a b c d is our trapezium okay so a b c d is a trapezium and uh, any line parallel to the parallel side so we have to draw a parallel line along this okay so here is a line parallel to the parallel sides of the trapezium it divides the non parallel sides so let's say this point is e and f so it divides the non parallel sides proportionally that means they are saying this parallel line ae by ed this parallel line is dividing the sides proportionally means ae by ed is equal to bf by fc this is what we have to achieve you have to prove so let's try and prove this so what is given let's first write that down given is ab is a trapezium abcd is a trapezium sorry abcd is a trapezium fair enough trapezium you know opposite sides will be parallel then which sides are parallel here ab is parallel to cd that's known right and also given is ef is parallel to ab is parallel to cd or dc this is also given to prove what do you need to prove guys you need to prove that ae upon ed that's how it is dividing it proportionally ae by ed is equal to bf by fc okay so again it looks like that we have to prove some ratios to be equal ratios that to you know we can see there is a you know a quadrilateral four sides are there so if i get ratios in a triangle then i can use basic proportionality theorem or converse of it isn't it so let's do a construction what we do is we will construct or join this okay so here is the construction what is the construction we construction we do a construction and that is what is that ac joint ac joint so we joined ac so we get two triangles and we get parallel sides so now you can think of what we are going to do so guys let's do the proof in triangle carefully see a d c okay now let's call this point g okay so clearly e g is a part of e f so hence e g is parallel to the base d c in that triangle without doubt it should be clear so eg is parallel to dc which will mean ae upon ed is equal to ag upon gc and why is this it is because of basic proportionality theorem a line divide parallel to the base divides the other two sides proportionally so this is true okay similarly folks in triangle so now i'm doing it here in triangle the other other triangle if you see c a b right look at like that such that a b is the base in triangle c a b what is given dekho f g is parallel to a b by construction sorry it's already given not by construction so f g is parallel to a b therefore by b p t again you can say c g upon g a is equal to c f upon f b is it it again by what by b p t now if that is so you can reciprocate it why because you will see you need a g by g c right so here if you reciprocate this you will get g a by c g is equal to f b by f c right or c f whichever way so i'll just rearrange the uh point so instead you can write a g upon g c is equal to is equal to b f 
upon fc so let me call this one and let me call this two right so guys from one and two from one and two what can you say you can say that a g by g c is equal to a g by g c oh sorry a g by g c anyways is a common equality term so hence you can say a e by e d sorry a e by e d is equal to b f by f c because both of them are equal to a g by g c and this is exactly what we needed to establish so that means the diagonals are you know or rather you know uh, the non parallel sides are being divided proportionally by the parallel side of a or a line parallel to the parallel sides of the trapezium so once again there is a trapezium a b and c d are parallel lines ef is another parallel line to the parallel lines of the trapezium therefore the ratio ae by ed will be equal to bf by fc or the parallel sides of a trapezium so a parallel line to the parallel sides of a trapezium divides the non parallel sides proportionally okay that's the theorem